Hello everyone! Today we're going to read Pip and Posy, The Bedtime Frog, written by Axel Scheffler and published by Noisy Crow. Posy was going to stay at Pip's house. She packed up her suitcase very carefully. She didn't want to forget anything. Then she got on the bus. She was very excited. Pip was really happy to see Posy. Hi, Posy, he called. Hello, Pip, giggled Posy. Pip and Posy had lots of fun. They played with Pip's cars. They played with the farm. And then they played a game called Pirates in Hospital. They ate spaghetti. They had a bubble bath. They brushed their teeth. And they read a funny story. After that, it was time for bed. Night, night, Posy, said Pip, as he cuddled up with his piggy. Sweet dreams, Pip, said Posy. They switched off their lights. Pip was very nearly asleep when he heard a voice. Froggy, said the voice. It was Posy. I've forgotten Froggy, she sniffed. I can't sleep without my Froggy. Pip turned his light back on again. Would you like this teddy, Posy? he said. But Posy did not want Pip's teddy. It's not green, she said. My frog, it's green. Would you like my dinosaur? said Pip. He's green. No, said Posy. The dinosaur is too big and too scary. What about my frog money box? said Pip. No, said Posy. That is the wrong frog. Posy cried and cried and cried. Oh! oh dear, poor Posy. Pip thought for a moment. Then he did a very difficult thing. Would you like Piggy, Posy? He said. Posy stopped crying. Piggy was an extremely nice pig. Yes, please, Pip, she said. So Pip was fast asleep. And so was Posy. And the next day, when Posy went home to her house, she found her frog. Exactly! where she had left him. Hooray! And that's the end of story time. Remember, if you liked it, subscribe today to English Lessons Online. Thank you.